You just need a little bit more dynamic changes like on your echoes. You can play a little deeper before you do your echo. You know on these echo phrases? Just use a little more arm weight for the before the echo. Now, of course the left hand is not digging in so loud anymore. That's good. So you're making your dynamics upstairs. <laughs> I would do. I wouldn't do a diminuendo on measure eleven because you can't do the echo on the next measure. Right. That I cross that out. Keep it, keep it going there. Yeah. It's, it's much better. That was nice. I, that was nice. Did more of that. Yeah. yeah, I put a big circle around. Ba -ba, ba -ba, ya -da -da. That's big. Because he changes the whole lot contour of what he was doing with pairs. No more pairs anymore. It's just yeah. jumping out there. Sort of the happy, happy jump out there. Project that out. Right. And when he gets here, I do the echo. starts here. I would do the echo where he comes back to those same notes. Just play it slowly. Catch that syncopation. and jocular and uplifting that staccato because after all he saturates us with the the double you know the groups of two and suddenly you have alacrity at the end there which is changing the mood so you really over project that now the next part what happens here or you want to practice the turnaround you should practice the turnaround right the other mood back, a mood switch. No, it's very good 
playing now. It's smoothing out nicely and it has nice phrasing. It's good. And this is very tricky to go from the twos into this little part at the end. You have to really shift your gears a little and stay calm. <laughs> People don't want to be calm and staccato. It starts disconnecting them, but you want to stay connected, right? And now the next section is skipping the counterpoint. You want to hear both voices because now the left hand has an interesting line for sure. And the right hand, they both do. You know what I would do more of though? I would do the mezzo forte in that first measure and then I would trail it down uh, with a diminuendo because the left hand's trailing down. And you go into B minor, which is a beautiful switch. He starts in D major and then he ends up trailing down into the beautiful the pathos of B minor. It's really nice to do that. Then back in the keys because you're back to major. Now it goes to A major, right? So the major should be brighter and deeper, and then trailing off to the minor should be sadder and getting softer. I think that's what we're going to do. It will work. Practice it a little bit. Your echoes are better now. Yeah, I would keep it kind of formidable to the end there because it's kind of big. You want it kind of ending that way. It's really shimmering. right in the key's depth there. You don't want to peter out. I wouldn't. Right. Because that whole section is the jocular, uplifting, happy section of the major with the staccatos. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Nice big shimmering, big, big major. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Or you can do a short trill stop somewhere and not just keep going on and on. Maybe four notes, five notes, six notes is good, maybe. Six notes. Yeah, I like it. No, I think it's much better. I think you know what you're doing in this. I, I really do. It's just a question of exaggeration, so you get the little yeah. bit of contrast. But I like yeah. what you're doing with the uh, the doubles, with the pairs. It's very good. It's not, it's, the pedaling is fine, as far as I can hear. It's not over-pedaling at all. It's very good. Whatever you're doing is very good. <laughs> 